Hey you guys, it's another segment of the quarantine series. By the way, we're gonna be doing more of these in the future, so kind of stay tuned. Today we're gonna to be talking about the NR reverse bearing, the ARB bearing. And this one here we've been working with for probably about 20 years, different versions, smaller ones and bigger ones. But this one here is our third generation, and we really feel like we got this one right. After all the years of learning with the failures and the successes, this one's a stainless, uh, fully stainless ro uh, roller clutch or anti reverse bearing, and it's very strong, it doesn't corrode, and it really, really works well. We've had a lot of good success with this, and we're very happy with it. Um, this roller, roller clutch or ARB bearing is actually pressed into the side plate, and this bore that's right here where the, where the ARB bearing is pressed into is very close tolerance, so it's really a press fit. And we use, uh, I'll just show you real quick, we actually use uh, this press here uh, the bearing goes up here like this, and then we actually pull the lever and press it down in there with quite a bit of pressure. So it's actually forced into the side plate. So once we get the bearing pressed in there, we, uh, we actually did something else besides design this bearing. Uh, we actually went back and kind of revisited all the water intrusion issues that we've seen over 20 years and figured out that there's gotta be a better way to kind of keep the water from getting in there. So what we ended up doing was, we ended up um, allowing these spaces on both sides of the bearing. You can see there's these open spaces. And what we do is we take these little rubber washers and we pack it way down on the bottom of this bore on one side and also on this side. Now these little rubber washers here are actually a little bit bigger than the outside of this hole and a little smaller than the shaft diameter here. So when we push this in there, it actually makes a real seal around the side plate and the gear shaft, which is a big deal. That's what stops the water from getting in. Then we went one step further, we built these little seals, these, these Delrin seals that go on the outside on both sides. So you can imagine too, you know, this is the outside of the reel. Look how big this one is. So in order for the water to get in here now, it's got to not only go through another washer that's out here, and the arm that's here, it's gotta go in between here and then it's eventually gonna hit that rubber seal there and then it'll hit your bearing, which that's pretty difficult to do. It really, really does stop the water from getting in there. And then we pack this with a little bit of cow's grease all around this thing to help with the sealing. And then we take our gear with our gear shaft. By the way, this gear shaft here is, you can see it's all silver. And you can see this part here is kind of a dark gray. That's because all this surface here has been precision ground to about five tenths, which is 0 0.0005. So that matches with the inside diameter of that bearing almost perfectly. So when you insert this inside here, you can really feel that it's a really a match fit. Make sure this thing stays in here like this. I mean, it's really a perfect fit, you kind of feel it. it you know, it, it feels snug sometimes going in like that, but then when you turn it, it's very, very easy to turn. It's because, like I said, it's precision fit between the shaft, the bearing, and all these seals. So, okay, you guys, so that's kind of the end of this segment of this series, and uh, be safe, uh, be healthy, and you'll see us on the other side in another segment coming up here. Thanks.